Hello everyone, this is the look I'm going to do today. This is a three dimension eyeshadow look or you can call it as a spotlight eyeshadow look. Basically as you're using a different color on the center of your lid um, and then on both inner corner and outer corner you use a different color. Same as the lower lash line. So I've already done my base and um, I have done my brow as well. The foundation I used is for, from Lancome, it's Toned Mirage. And I also um, did my brow with Anastasia Brow with Pencil and I have set it with a brow mousse. Um, so now I'm just going to move on to the eyes. I'm using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in color Yogurt as a base. I'm just going to lay that down um, all over my eyelid and on the lower lash line. Uh, this while acting is like a eyeshadow primer um, and then it's going to bring out the color a lot more vibrant and uh, um, the eyeshadow powder will stick a lot better onto the creamy um, jumbo eye pencil. Now I'm going to use my MAC Coppering Eyeshadow. This is a such a beautiful, beautiful warm color eyeshadow and the texture is so nice. And I'm just going to pack this at the outer corner of my eyes and the at the inner corner of my eyes. And I just leave the center part bare. Um, and I'm also going to do the same on my lower lash line. Um, on the center of my eyelids, I'm using my Long Kong Single Eyeshadow. This is the Ombre Hypnose Eyeshadow in color I202. It's called Erica. And this is a very interesting color. It's hard for me to describe color. It's like a warm Tom Silver. It has like iridescent sparkle inside. I'm just using this color wet. Um, I sprayed my brush with NYX setting spray and then just picking up the eyeshadow as wet and then press them onto my eyes. Now I'm just using my E25 blending brush from Sigma. This is just a little travel size one. I'm just going to use this brush. This is a clean brush. Haven't got any other eyeshadow on. I'm just going to use that to blend all the eyeshadow together uh, and also bring a little bit of their coppering colors into my crease and also going to blend onto my lower lash line. Um, and so all I'm doing just blend, blend, blend and blend them away. <laughs> I know it sounds boring but you have to do it. And I'm going back with my um, eyeshadow brush just to pack uh, a bit more coppering color onto my eyelids because when I'm doing the blending um, a lot of colors goes away and lose the intensity so I'm going back with that color to intensify the color a little bit and also going back with the blending brush again to doing my second blending. Now I'm going to add some dips onto my eyeshadow so I'm going to use the MAC sketch it's like a dark plummy purple color. I'm going to add this color on to wherever I placed coppering. So um, at the outer corner, inner corner, upper and the lower lash line. And I'm still using my E25 blending brush. I'm just using a small circular motions. I'm going to blend these sketch colors onto my lid. Um, and then I'm using a flat definer brush. I really, really love this brush. This is from Sigma. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm packing a deep, deep brown color as a liner color. So I'm just going to place that really, really close to the root of my lashes. Um, obviously upper and the lower. Next thing I'm going to do is just use a um, black eyeliner. It's just a liquid eyeliner pen I'm using. Just going to line my eyes and then doing a small flick at the end. Um, if you wanted to see a detailed um, how to use liquid eyeliner pens, I do have a video was dedicated to how to apply the liquid eyeliner and then do the flick at the end. Um, I will link the video in the description box so I'm not going too much details in here 
And next thing is apply my mascara. This is my current favorite mascara from Lancome. Uh, it's the newest release. It's called Grand Deals. Uh, it has this funny swan neck, but it does kind of make it apply um, mascara really easy. I like the lifting motions. And I also like it has a, a small brush, so um, it can get into the small lashes. So I feel in my crease area needs a little bit more blending. So I'm taking a soft brown eyeshadow uh, from MAC and just using a big fluffy brush and did a little bit more blending in my crease area. So this is uh, pretty much the finished look of my eyes. Now we are going to move on to the cheeks. Uh, the blush palette I'm using is from Lancome. And this is the palette called Rose Flush. So um, it comes with three different colors. One is the highlighter, one is the blush itself, and then the contour shade. The quality is amazing. The powder itself is really, really fine. And then give you this radiant and luminosity on the skin. So I'm just dusting the um, blush itself onto my cheeks. And then I'm using the highlight shade on top of my cheekbones. A little bit on the bridge of my nose and then on my cupid's bow and then um, a very little bit on top of my eyebrow now I'm using my real technique contour brush um, I'm going to use the contour shade in that blush palette uh, to do a little bit contouring um, just very little bit underneath my um, cheekbones Draw lines and around my forehead. And the contour shade in this palette is quite subtle, so you don't have to worry it's going to be too dark. And um, this contour shade uh, works perfect on light to medium skin tones. If your skin is really dark, then um, it's not going to be very suitable for you. And I'm using my Lancome blending brush. This is the number 17 blending eyeshadow brush. Uh, I'm going to pick up the same contour shade and then just contour a little bit around my nose. And then I just used a um, kind of nude color lipstick um, and then top up with a little bit gloss. And the lipstick is from Lancome. This is the Le Absolute Rouge 250. And then I'm topping up with a Lancome Juicy Tube Toffee RMB. This smells just like toffee nut, smell like edible. I also did a slightly brighter and a darker lipstick version. Um, I used the same range lipstick from Lancome and this is number 368. At the very center of my lips, I placed this uh, Glen Gloss from NYX. This gives my lips a really really shiny highlight so this is the finished look um, you can either go with the nude lips or you can go with this bright pink lips I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video and I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye bye